Ladies and germs. Okay, two things. Heart and Mother Nature. Places that have been highly disrespected, whether it's the people disrespecting themselves, whether it's people disrespecting life in general, those places are going to be cleansed, whether it's earthquakes, storms, volcanoes, whatever you want to call it. Also, Harp has a big play in this as well. But you have to understand. If you're in a place that's highly disrespectful, whether it's the people being harmful to themselves or to life in general, those places have to be cleansed. These people have to be cleansed. Every time I went out to Dallas, for some reason, it rained, and it rained hard, okay? I was in fear for my life out there most of the time, so most of the time I was praying. I was praying for that place to be cleansed. Dallas was filled, is filled, with a lot of negative energy. So, all these places that have been disrespected by the humans who are there are going to be cleansed. So don't be surprised if a storm happens where storms normally don't happen. If an earthquake happens where normally they don't happen. Mother Earth is cleansing herself. We, as a, as a, a human race, need to start cleansing ourselves. Okay? We have the power to bring back Earth. What seems to be happening right now is like a slow base chaos movement. Obviously not by us humans, but by a force that is not of love. And this is where the point comes to. And it always comes to this point. We humans have the power to shape shift this Earth into a beautiful, magnificent Eden again. It is up to us to do so. We can even direct these tornadoes away from houses. We just need to have a collective heart and a collective consciousness. Again, we are all one. Now, you people out there who are constantly watching TV, waiting for the next bad thing to happen, is setting themselves up for disaster. What you need to do is get out, get into nature, you take some sun blasts and start praying not only to God but to your higher self you are the God spark these demons don't have the God spark we do again that's why they have to do so much in order to keep us at a low vibration and at a certain frequency so again stay loved if there's earthquakes near your place if there's volcanoes hurricanes, whatever it is. Send that energy love. Because what is actually happening is Mother Earth regurgitating herself. Parts of the planet are going to be cleansed. Parts of the planet are going to be wiped out. But you have to understand that this is going to be done so that way Eden can come back. So that Mother Earth can be full-fledged with colors that we have never even thought of before. So, stay focused, stay loved, remember, if everything, if anything starts popping off to where everything starts getting crazy, remember to not panic, remember to stay put, remember to love your children, remember to respect your women, okay? That's who's going to move on forward, it's going to be separated into two people. The people who decide to move up, 4th and 5th densities, and the people who decide to stay in 3rd densities. The people who only believe what they see, smell, taste, and feel. Even though all of those actions are done with our brains, electrical brain uh, signals. So it's really what your brain's interpreting. So what we need to do is start projecting love bombs, projecting beautiful places where they're 
needs to be beautiful again. All the places where you think are slums, start sending love to those places and, and envision beautiful, beautifulness and beauty happening at those places. Just like what happened in Texas and um, Oklahoma. Love bombs. Just send love. Okay, that's all you need to do. The angels, Archangel Michael, and the rest of the, of the elite, they will take care of the rest. We need to center ourselves. Remember, no fear. No fear. Always love. Love destroys all negative vibrations, people. <laughs> it's being scientifically proven. So those of you who are into science, you know, this metaphysic, this metaphysics and the spirituality, all it is is just higher science. So once you realize that, then you step into the Akashic Records. You start learning from the universe's library, which is infinite knowledge, from the past, present, and future. Okay? Come on. We have the key. You know you have the key. So let's join forces. Let's push these demons off our planet. And let's take back Eden. Okay? Much love. Angels be with you. And I'll see you soon.